In the realm of classic cinema, the 1949 film The Heiress stands as a timeless emblem of the industry, showcasing enduring qualities that have solidified its place in cinematic history. Directed by William Wyler, this adaptation of Henry James' novel Washington Square is a poignant exploration of love, betrayal, and societal expectations. The movie's lasting impact prompts us to ponder what enduring qualities make the heiress a perennial symbol of the film industry. Set against the backdrop of 19th century New York, the narrative unfolds with a gripping simplicity that belies its emotional depth. Olivia de Havilland delivers a remarkable performance as Catherine Sloper, a young heiress caught between the conflicting forces of familial duty and personal desire. The film's restrained yet powerful storytelling, coupled with its nuanced character development, resonates across generations, inviting viewers to reflect on the complexities of human relationships. What is it about the heiress that transcends the passage of time? Perhaps it's the masterful craftsmanship of its creators, or the universal themes it tackles. As we delve into random facts about the film, such as the meticulously designed period costumes and the subtle cinematography that enhances the atmosphere, we uncover the layers that contribute to its enduring allure. Now, we turn to you, the audience. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the heiress? Did the film leave an indelible mark on your cinematic journey, or do you have a particular scene that remains etched in your memory? We would love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. As we celebrate the legacy of the heiress, let the conversation unfold, weaving a tapestry of shared experiences and diverse perspectives. Join us in honoring the cinematic gem and sharing the moments that make it unforgettable. The heiress, released in 1949 and directed by William Wyler, is a classic drama film adapted from Ruth, an Augustus Goat's play, which, in turn, was based on Henry James' novel Washington Square. The story revolves around Catherine Sloper, played by Olivia de Havilland, a shy and socially awkward young woman living with her domineering father, Dr. Austin Sloper, portrayed by Ralph Richardson. When the charming and penniless Morris Townsend, played by Montgomery Clift, shows interest in Catherine, her father suspects ulterior motives. As their romance unfolds, tensions rise, revealing the complex dynamics of love, trust, and manipulation. The film is known for its strong character development, particularly Catherine's transformation from a meek heiress to a resolute woman. The Havilland's nuanced performance earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. The heiress is celebrated for its emotional depth, meticulous period details, and the exploration of societal expectations. Its impact on popular culture endures, influencing subsequent adaptations, and serving as a timeless exploration of human relationships and resilience. On September 29, 1947, the curtains rose at New York City's Biltmore Theater for the Broadway debut of The Heiress. Ruth and Augustus Goetz's play, the precursor to the 1949 film, unfolded on stage, starring Wendy Hiller and Basil Rathbone. The production garnered attention, running for an impressive 410 performances. Sir Ralph Richardson, who later portrayed Dr. Sloper in the 1949 film, had already perfected the role on the London stage alongside Peggy Ashcroft. His reprisal brought a seasoned authenticity to the character, adding depth to the on-screen dynamics. Notably, Olivia de Havilland's portrayal of Catherine Sloper earned her the Best Actress Oscar, standing alone in the category as the sole nominee from a Best Picture contender that year. This accolade underscores the exceptional quality of her performance and its pivotal role in the film's success. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the theatrical roots of the heiress and the remarkable performances that laid the foundation for the cinematic adaptation. The play's success on Broadway, Richardson's stage-to-screen transition, and de Havilland's singular Oscar nod all contribute to the rich tapestry of this enduring classic. The heiress, both on stage and screen, remains a compelling exploration of human relationships, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of its time. Olivia de Havilland's pivotal role in bringing the heiress to the big screen began with a bold move. After witnessing the play on Broadway, she approached director William Wyler with the idea of adapting it for film. Paramount Pictures secured the rights for $250,000, 
and the Goatses, the playwrights, were persuaded to soften Morris' character to align with Montgomery Clift's romantic image. This strategic decision aimed to capitalize on Clift's popularity as a leading man. Interestingly, the film's musical composition took a different turn. Aaron Copland, initially credited for the opening credits, denied his involvement in a letter to the New York Times. His composition, deemed too challenging, was replaced at Weiler's request. These behind-the-scenes maneuvers shed light on the calculated decisions that shaped the 1949 cinematic adaptation of the heiress. From negotiating rights to molding characters, each step played a crucial role in bringing this classic drama to life on the silver screen. Cary Grant, a Hollywood icon, sought the role of Morris Townsend in the 1949 movie The Heiress. However, director William Wyler made a pivotal decision, turning down Grant's interest. Instead, the role went to Montgomery Clift, known for his subtle and nuanced acting style. The casting choice had a profound impact on the film. Clift's portrayal of Morris Townsend brought a different flavor to the character, emphasizing depth over the charm Grant might have brought. The decision to opt for Clift's subdued approach added layers to the unfolding romance and heightened the tensions in the storyline. Interestingly, the initial plan had been to pair Olivia de Havilland, the lead actress, with her frequent co-star Errol Flynn. This duo, known for their on-screen chemistry, could have steered the narrative in a different direction. However, in pursuit of a more nuanced performance, the filmmakers opted for Clift, steering away from the potential for a more flamboyant and traditional romance. Moreover, an intriguing aspect of the heiress is the on-screen dynamic between de Havilland and Ralph Richardson, who played her father, Dr. Austin Sloper. Despite Richardson being only 14 years older than de Havilland, his convincing portrayal added a layer of authority and paternal control to the narrative. The decision to cast Richardson in this role, irrespective of the age difference, contributed to the film's success. In conclusion, the casting choices in the heiress played a crucial role in shaping the film's narrative and impact. Cary Grant's interest, the shift from a potential pairing with Errol Flynn, and the unconventional age dynamic between de Havilland and Richardson all contributed to the film's unique character and lasting legacy. As the credits roll and the echoes of the heiress linger in the cinematic air, I invite you to embark on a personal journey through the corridors of your own reflections. This 1949 masterpiece is more than just a film. It's a timeless tapestry of emotions, choices, and consequences that weaves itself into the fabric of our own narratives. As you savor the aftertaste of this cinematic experience, consider the delicate dance between love and betrayal, the haunting resonance of unspoken words, and the echoes of societal expectations that reverberate across the ages. The heiress is not merely a story confined to the silver screen. It's a mirror reflecting the complexities of the human heart. I encourage you to share your thoughts, your musings, your favorite moments that resonated with the chords of your own life. Did the film unveil a hidden facet of your emotions? Perhaps it stirred memories long buried, or maybe it sparked a conversation that lingered in the quiet corners of your mind. In this space, let us create a tapestry of collective reflections, a mosaic of diverse perspectives interwoven with the common thread of the heiress. Your voice adds color to this cinematic canvas, enriching the narrative with the nuances of your unique experiences. Thank you for investing your time and emotions in this shared exploration of the heiress. Your thoughts are the brushstrokes that complete this portrait of connection and contemplation. Until our paths cross again in the realm of stories, be they on screen or within the recesses of our own lives, I bid you farewell.